Hey everyone, this is Coach Travis, and I've got my swing pulled up, and I want to go over the swing plane real quick in a short video, um, and really explain why the swing plane is so important for you to maintain throughout uh, your swing. So the swing plane is important because if you want to get consistent, repeatable ball flight contact in the center of the club face, um, control the low point or the divot that you make um, that's in front of the golf ball, the swing plane is going to provide all of that. So if you can start with this line that I have pulled up, it's going through my belt line, and maintain a parallel swing to this plane. I'll draw another little line real quick. Uh, right there, okay? That's above the original swing plane, but never below it. Your swing is going to be way more repeatable throughout and for all of your clubs. So um, you can start lowering your handicap and improving your ball striking ability. So let's go over my swing real quick. I've got a few flaws and i um, not ashamed to admit it, but um, it gets me keep working on my swing plane so I can be as repeatable as possible. So during the swing, um, so I start taking it back, and it, it goes in just a little bit. We don't want to see that. We want to see the club stay on that line, okay? But about halfway back here, it gets to a point where it's pretty parallel. See how it's just a, a, a touch bit off, maybe? And that's probably because of the very bottom right here. It went just a little flat, and then now I'm trying to correct some things in that swing. And then at the top of my swing, it gets very parallel um, right there. And then I start working on the way down, and it starts shallowing back down on that plane. And then I'm able to finish through and hit really good contact uh, with the golf ball. And, and if it's coming from the inside, it's, it's definitely going to be more of a draw there. Um, I can start um, adjusting my swing so that my plane is a little steeper so I can create more of a fade shot. Um, and then likewise, I can do it again where it's a little flatter, maybe move the ball position a little bit um, so I can create more of a draw pattern as well. So um, if you're sending videos to me, um, please keep in mind that we're going to be going over a lot of the swing plane. Um, so it's very important that you understand uh, a little bit of it. We'll go over more about your individual swing, but it's very important that we that we start with this, and then we can start working on other aspects of your body, and um, you know how you're controlling that swing plane. But I want the, I, I want to get that club swinging correctly first, at least where we're making better contact, and then we kind of start evolving the body and how the body's turning to um, to maintain a better um, angle so the club's not jumping around a lot off and on that swing plane, okay? You'll see in some of my videos that people definitely have a lot of off the swing plane, a lot of on the swing plane, and the club just bounces around. We want to move it to where it's very, very neutral um, to, to create less um, diversion of and um, of what the, the ball is doing um, on the course. So um, if you've got any questions, just please let me know. And I look forward to um, speaking with you about the swing plane. Thanks.